Welcome or welcome back. This is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Advocate, and we are looking at the Gigafactory Nevada Tesla Semi Factory construction site for December 11th, 2024. And I wanted to uh, show both the current state of the factory and the two renders so that we can just see how far they have come. So as we look at the two renderings and compare them to the current state of progress at the Giga Semi factory, I want to take a moment and thank the uh, Tesla construction workers and dedicate this video to them for all that they've been doing in bringing this factory to reality. It's an amazing thing and this entire video is dedicated to them. Keep up the good work. We're all supporting them. This is a look at the um, rendering from the south showing the new section that is being worked on now, section G, which is clearly the most complicated section of the mall, and we'll see more about that later. For now, I'd like to call attention to the fact that the entire, we are now going along the northern wall. This entire north wall has been completed, as well as the entire western wall, which is to the right and we'll get a good look at that later. The doors that um, we saw them bringing in what looked like electrical uh, panel equipment, which makes sense as being the first step in getting the factory ready for um, fitting out the assembly line. Look at all the progress that's been made as a result of the fact that you'll see that the um, this is section B the sections start at the northwest corner, section A. This is section B that is having the uh, insulated roof material installed. This is section C. And then section D is in the background. Section E is to the right. And section F is the final section of the six main sections. And then section G is the um, is the uh, new section that they just started working on and we're gonna spend a lot of time monitoring its progress over the next several weeks. It is clearly the most complicated and technical section, but again, the amount of progress made in six days is phenomenal. Those are the three, two water tanks that are hooked up to the uh, water supply that was run up Milan Avenue over a year ago in preparation for this project. And um, apologize for the lighting, it's, uh, a fact of the a fact of nature that the uh, sun is in the south and as I go along this north end the lighting is not that great. We're turning the corner on the north east um, section and we'll be running down the eastern section and we're fairly blind. I am fairly confident in saying that four out of the six main sections have had their concrete slabs poured and I base that on the fact that there's plastic in the windows of, uh, I mean, in all of those uh, loading bays along the northern uh, wall that we just uh, traveled down. There's plastic cover sheeting covering each of those loading doors, and I think that would make sense that they've um, poured concrete. Can't really see in there that well because of the lighting. Um, and that is somewhat speculation, but it's educated speculation. This is section D, where they're still filling in the um, the, the roof panels. I the um, the mesonator has been disassembled, and I think we get a look at it on on a uh, flatbed later on in the video, and. Um, want to thank BZI for their amazing technology and their um, approach in partnering with Tesla on this project. And um, here is a truck pulling a flatbed over this temporary dirt driveway they made to go over the um, foundation wall, the exterior foundation wall there. We're going to come up to a kind of a surprise. And um, I have to tell you that when I first do the drone flight, I'm looking at a very small screen. Then my next look is on my phone. 
and then my next look is on my um, Mac and then it's only after I post it to um, social media that I get to see it on my big screen so here I noticed there was a semi there but I couldn't be sure which what it was so there's a Tesla semi placed inside the, the factory in what looks like you know almost like the uh, what they did with uh, the Model Y at Giga Texas and there's also a, a flag there that I believe is a Tesla flag and I'll get a good look at that a close-up look at that next time here is the um, first look at an interior wall being constructed to separate the um, section F from the section G which by all accounts and consensus among many will be the uh, stamping section the elevated height is for uh, cranes to be able to move dies and it also makes sense that these deep deep foundations and um, earthworks are to support both frame and body panel stamping did a little research and grok has um, indicated that even those heavy, heavy um, semi-truck frames are stamped, but they require obviously a much bigger stamping machine to stamp that heavy gauge metal. Here is the western wall that has been done for a little while, and if you notice these propane tanks, they've also added I think four more along the northern uh, section and I think they're just going to come into view now if not we'll get there they are there they're in the shadows in any event let's uh, enjoy this uh, look at the Tesla semi factory and um, we're gonna we're gonna run over and take a look and see how the big dog Tesla semi that's watching over the factory construction site is doing if you remember last week they I noticed for the first time they had put an actual Easter egg for an Easter egg on top of it and um, that was a lot of fun we'll come back to this um, section G earthwork and form uh, footing pouring project and we'll look at it in more detail so don't worry they've got a crane there and it is currently placing these large forms that are built separately and you can see being moved and placed in preparation for the large crane to uh, pick it up the telehandler there is um, will drop it on the ground and then um, when it's through with this form it'll go it'll it'll come and pick up that one and can continue and my next drone flight will probably be Saturday and or Sunday and so we'll see how much progress they've made from Wednesday to Sunday viewers have pointed out that this section here on the left and in front in the middle is likely for the to support the stamping presses machines and this section could be for storing wastewater what do you think We're going to rotate the drone and get a good look at this um, complicated footing work. We're actually well above the front, the um, crane there on zoom. Oh, one thing I think we're going to see it here in a second is there's a Tesla production semi up in the top left at one of their leased buildings 
again, we get a good look at this interior wall that is being erected and there's, there is enough footing there to allow a whole separate set of uh, columns to support section G. Here is the big dog Tesla Semi. We're going to spend a couple of minutes circumnavigating it and I, I kind of like the views. So here's a silly um, comment. It reminds me of the the, uh, the circular drone shot. Reminds me of a romance movie where they um, where the camera circles a couple as they embrace. So, for what it's worth, it reminded me of that. I do like the um, angles that we get as we get lower and see the uh, Tesla Semi factory construction in the background. Okay, as, uh, that concludes the rom-com section of the video. And in the background, I want you to pay attention. Coming up, there's a Tesla Semi um, in the bottom left corner, and that is actually doing work for the um, production unit at Tesla. That is the building next to 550 Milan, the existing Semi uh, pilot line, and it is used as a storage building. And so there, that, that Semi was putting bringing or or um, picking up parts from that um, storage facility. Here's a good look at the one of the three warehouse on wheels. And if you if you don't know where the Tesla semi factory currently is was a giant warehouse on wheels in preparation for the construction they moved and created that warehouse on wheels, the, the warehouse on wheels that is in the top right there, which I call the Panasonic warehouse on wheels because it's in the it's at the Panasonic end of the building and then there's another warehouse on wheels that's further away and I'm uh, some weird lighting right now but you do get a good look at the um, electric avenue coming in past the guard gate into um, Giga Nevada proper here there's that Tesla semi and here's a good look at the um, entire factory from the south. And we don't usually get a, lot, a good look like this. A lot of work proceeding on many different fronts in addition to the ones that we notice the... Um, the easy ones to notice are the progress on insulation and um, waterproof membrane on the roofs, the um, giant footings in preparation for the stamping machines, 
previously, we would see the progress in erecting the steel. And pretty soon, we're going to be at the point where we um, the building is essentially completed and we'll be seeing production equipment brought and we'll try to figure out what from from the different pieces of equipment and where they're putting it we can speculate on what the line is going to look like and how it's going to flow i've done it in the past and i'm pretty sure that my speculation is completely wrong again here's the northern another pass along the northern wall showing that it's completed a lot of loading bays right there so that clearly demonstrates the uh, raw materials and supplier parts coming in that's a clue to the uh, general flow of the um, factory assembly line there's the giant dragon's lair door where we saw the dragon eyes last in a previous video and there's the uh, four propane tanks almost certainly just used for space heating the nights are very cold but the days have been sunny and clear and it's been very helpful for progress here on the tesla semi factory and thank you for joining i want to take a few seconds and just talk about the fact that i probably do myself a disservice by not asking you to do something that rhymes with bike and prescribe but I figure if you're watching YouTube videos you know how to support the channel and I would appreciate you um, if you do support the channel doing that which shall, shall remain nameless